Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. Yeah, I got the name right. I don't know why the hell I thought it wasn't, like, it didn't sound right, but no, I was an idiot. So last time we left off, it seemed like, the uh, Gustavia woke up, and, well, he's up and running, and, well, now we're accusing him of the, of the murder. We gotta, we're gonna try proving it. And after putting up, putting a, a bunch of pieces of logic together, it seems like, you know, more and more likely that it could have been him. Now it seems we're going to be playing some logic chess with him. First, I'll ask about why he co collaborated with Mr. Dover. The truth has been hidden for 18 years. That ends today. Alright, let's begin some logic chess. So why'd you co collaborate? Why did you decide to collaborate with Isaac Dover? Sir Dover and I were already acquaintances even before the contest began. Since he was interested in the contest, we simply decided to enter it together. Huh. Joining forces with a sculptor. You weren't confident in your own abilities. Duh, you know nothing about me. You, we want to make great, uh, make great works together. Uh, he's getting a little mad, so I'm just gonna hold on a minute. So Dover's son and my own attended the same elementary school. We all got along well from the start. Really? So uh, were you going to share the title of world's greatest pastry chef together? The uh, were you? Okay, no, 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 no. Huh. As expected, he pretends to meditate when things aren't going his way, which seems like the perfect time to attack. Mr. Dover was a sculptor. I doubt he had any interest in the title World's Greatest Pastry Chef. In that case, where did his true goal lie? <laughs> Indeed, my goal is to title the World's Greatest Pastry Chef. However, Sir Dover's goal is a grand prize, the Angel's Recipe. I see. You cooperated because your interests were aligned. But that, uh, there must have been a reason why your partnership soured. Sir Prosecutor, I am the victim of a poisoning. If you're gonna suspect me in this matter... Uh, what is it? Perhaps I'd better return to the infirmary. Wait a moment! In that case, you should end things soon. I am not a patient man. He seems he's trying to leave. I can't let that happen. He's still hiding something. Next, I should ask him about his true goal. Okay. I need to keep the pressure on him while being cautious of the time. Uh, oh yeah, what the hell? Yeah, the other one was like mentioning the actual shell piece of cake. I don't think it had anything to do with that. Didn't you have another goal besides the title? The title alone doesn't seem to have much value. <laughs> How dare Deluxe would insult the title of a confectionery artist! My only goal is the title itself. I had no interest in anything else. My dream is to become the world's greatest pastry chef. He's mad. Let me just... Eh. I know I'm just being cautious here, but the thing is I'm not trying to put too much pressure on him. I don't know. 18 years ago, I was lacking in design sense. However, things are different now. Oh? Are you saying you haven't improved at your craft? Exactly! I have trained the Republic of Fa. Eh, no, I thought we were just gonna make him more mad by saying the other word, other than that. He's like, I fail to see your, um, fail to see your training. And why would you even say that? Yes, yes, at the time I also studied Mr. Master's works. I would often watch his show with my son. So, you were studying Mr. Master's work to improve your own skills. If you had his recipes, perhaps it would have been easier for you to become the world's great, the world's greatest. No, uh, perhaps. To a pastry chef, Sir Master's recipes were worth their weight in gold. Yep, slip me again. Huh. If becoming the world's greatest pastry chef was your goal, you should have also been interested in the grand prize, the angel's recipe. Ah! The recipes of the world's greatest pastry chef! I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. However, I wouldn't think that simple, simply because interested, being interested will be a... Ugh. I wouldn't think that simply being interested would be a problem. I wonder about that. The Angels are speak true nature is not for making desserts, but cures. And all the contest participants should have been aware of that. Ugh. Looks like I'm getting close. He isn't meditating anymore. Now to slowly but surely drive him to the corner. This is gonna be fun. Next, I'll ask what he planned to use the recipe book for. Uh... Hmm. 
Maybe you know the value of it? The angel's recipe. Did you know its true value? Silly question. It concern uh, it contains Sir Master's best dessert recipes. Any pastry chef would see that they're uh, worth their salt would want it. Seems I don't have enough clues to perceive this in line of questioning. Okay. Maybe I should try another line. How about this? Did you intend to win the Angel's Recipe and use it to make desserts? Of course. If I obtained the Angel's Recipe, I was going to use it in my, uh, in my training. I hear the Angel's Recipe was worth a lot of money. The... Uh, I don't know the exact details, but... Uh, that recipe book was much too valuable to be sold. Uh, wake up. You seem to know quite a lot about the Angel's Book. The, uh, it was explained to all the contest participants at the beginning of the uh, contest. Hmm. In that case, you must know about the recipe book's true nature. That it was it was not a recipe book for desserts at all. Ugh! Impressive, Sir Prosecutor. So you know the true nature of the Angel's Recipe. The Angel's Recipe. Some have called it the ultimate recipe book. It contained formulas for new medicines that were not yet on the market. He knew that the, the recipes were actually formulas for new medicines. That could be a useful clue. So, yeah. So, do you know his value? Well, it looks like that clue will come in handy. So, yep. You may have studied design in Zhang Fa. However, your skills in lying could use more work. You just said it earlier that the Angel's Recipe contained formulas for medicines. Ugh. You weren't interested in desserts. You wanted the medicine formulas. Nah, I don't think you want to be a pharmacist. Now, why would a pastry chef such as yourself be so interested in medicine? Perhaps that you were really after what was the information about the new medicine. No! Ugh. I've underestimated you, Sir Prosecutor. Yes. My goal is more than just a title the world's greatest pastry chef. At the time, my son was ill. I needed the recipe for the medicine! Your son was ill? Tell me more about that. To protect my son's honor, I can say no more. Hm. Judging by the worried look on his face, I must have struck a nerve. Next, I need, to tell him, I need him to tell me more about his son's illness. This is it. This will be my final move of the game. Uh... Maybe the, the, they have the only cure. Did the Angel's Recipe have the only cure? Yes. But the medicine is being sold everywhere now. At the time, the recipe book was my one and only option. That's why I continue making my desserts, without joining the others for tea time. So you weren't interested in what Mr. Master was making. You sure seemed confident in your chances of winning. I couldn't be bothered to pay attention to the other contestants' uh, desserts. Really? You just said earlier that you studied Mr. Master's works. In addition, in your goal, if your goal is to win the contest in order to get the medicine and formula, you must have been curious about the other contestants' entries as well. D mm. There was time to sample the other desserts during the contest, but none of their entries uh, had any flavor. So I didn't want to eat any of it. I suspect I may have been a bit nervous as well. So everything he he ate tasted flavorless. This could be a useful clue. So yeah, I'd like to name the illness then. What was the name of your son's illness? Because I have a feeling that maybe he has it as well. The Sir Prosecutor, how, how insensitive of you! My son was seriously ill! I will not be discussing this with the likes of you! Oh, okay, no. Don't have enough clues, so maybe it's the second one. Maybe we should try another line. Okay. I got it. I got it, Edgeworth. What kind of person was your son? What was your son like? Ah, oh, my boy. He loves the search I made. Did you enter the contest solely for your son, Sir Prosecutor? You could never understand the feelings our father has for his son. I want nothing more than to cure my boy's illness. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say I doubt that. No. Until the semifinals, my son would always drop by to the contest venue to play. Is that so? Wouldn't he get in your way? I doubt you had time to care for your son while you were challenging Mr. Master. 
That may be so, but I wanted to grant my son's wish. He said he always wanted to be the first to eat my desserts. Uh, I don't know. Oh well, no. I'm gonna see this right here. About your son. If he was so sick, wouldn't it be difficult for him to come and play with, play with you? Ugh. My son's illness. It wasn't life threatening. It wasn't life threatening. Hmm. That might serve as a clue then. So yeah. What was the name of your son's illness? Let me know now. You told me your son's illness was not even life threatening. Is there really a need to be so secretive about it? It was enough to keep him from living a normal life. That well, must have been difficult for your son. I tried everything I could to cure his illness. It wasn't fair to the poor boy. He could never taste the desserts he loved so much. Is he too fat? No, yeah, but maybe it was a taste disorder. The angel's recipe contains a cure for a certain illness. A remedy that could also cure Mr. Master's taste disorder. What? He had it too? He had it too. I see. So your son suffers from a taste disorder. Oh! I didn't think you figured it out so quickly! In order to cure your son's taste disorder, you needed a recipe book. Wasn't that your true goal? Hmm. Is as you say. Based on how, uh, on how he's acted up until now, it appears he's still hiding something. Looks like that clue will come in handy. Being unable to taste anything, regardless of what you eat. Such a bitter illness. It reminds me, didn't you say something similar earlier? None of their entries had any flavor, so I didn't feel like eating any of it, wasn't it? Perhaps your son wasn't the only one who suffered from a taste disorder. It's hard to imagine being a successful pastry chef without a sense of taste. Perhaps what you really wanted was to cure yourself. Ugh. That's completely ludicrous. 18 years ago, I made those desserts all by myself. Really? Huh. It seems you've caught yourself in a contradiction. Didn't you cooperate with Isaac Dover in a contest? You can hardly say you made desserts all by yourself. No! Oh! You must take take great pride in your abilities as a pastry chef, but to betray your pride and cooperate with another contestant, you did all to cure your own disease. Well done, Sir Prosecutor. It is as you say. The one with the taste disorder is not my son. It is I. No one knew. I've kept it a secret for 18 years. It doesn't matter how long a secret is kept. If you lie before me, I will expose it. Dan Gustavia and Isaac Dover were both trying to obtain the recipes for, their own, for new medicines. Gustavia to cure his condition, and Dover most likely to sell the recipe book for money. For this reason, they entered the contest as a collaborative effort. And with that... Checkmate. All right, there we go. Ugh. I've never told this to anyone. Well done. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Taste disorder? It's a severe disorder. I was unable to discern any flavor at all. It's the one illness a pastry chef dreads above all. Those symptoms sound a bit different from Mr. Master's taste, taste disorder. Yeah, Mr. Master's condition is known as hypogasia or something like that. It simply causes a decreased sensitivity to certain specific flavors. I'm sure it has caused Sir Master much pain as well. After all, no, medi no medication was available to cure it 18 years ago. In order to cure your taste disorder, you would need Mr. Master's uh, Angel's Recipe. And that's why you entered the contest, am I correct? That was one of my goals, but I still had my sights set on the, the title of World's Greatest. When it comes to making desserts, I won't lose to anyone. Even without the uh, ability to taste, I still have the utmost confidence in my flavors. Oh? 
So I presume you also prepared your dessert in the finals for the intent to win. <clears throat> well, it goes without saying. According to what Mr. Shields told us earlier, the evaluation of Mr. Kasaba's entries was... Up until the summer finals, his uh, flavors and design were to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his finals entry left much to be desired. It seems that your dessert you made for finals is not rated highly in regards to flavor. Mmm. Mr. Gustavia, you will tell us about how you made your dessert during the finals. Very well. It seems I must teach you up, up starts the lesson. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Sir Dover not cooperated until the finals. I handled the flavor, and he was in charge of the design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. How about that, Sir Prosecutor? This is the truth of 18 years ago. Ugh. I can't find any contradictions in his testimony. Well, of course he isn't going to fess up with that easily. This guy's been on the run for 18 years, after all. Guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, eh? Yes. Well, you heard, uh, Ray. Let's keep pressing, I guess. Uh, some stuff I'm, I'm not really sure we need to press on everything, though. Well, might as well see what the hell's go what's going to happen here. So Mr. Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor. Sir Dover was a sculptor by trade. His sense of design was splendid. But he but he was just an amateur chef. We combined our strengths by working together. <laughs> you never did have much design sense, did you, Mr. Gustavia? Ugh. Come on, make something. Oh, look at that. What do you think of this? Hmm. That's the symbol of Zinc Fa. Wow, a phoenix! That's really good! Whoa, you really have improved the, the, those past these past 18 years. <laughs> Behold the fruits of my 18 years of training. I put my fire and my life in well, my fire, what the hell, my life and limb on the line for my dessert skills. It's true that I cooperated with Sir Dover 18 years ago, up until the finals. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge the master of my own skills. Excellent. Now I want to go back and press on that as well. So you are really serious about the title of world's greatest pastry chef? Yes. Confectionery is my life. Naturally, I wanted to be the world's greatest. But back then, back then I was still inexperienced, and I was still I was uh, I was no match for the better chef. But your goal is also to obtain the angel's recipe, right? Wouldn't a recipe book be worth more to you than a title? Ugh. I will not stand by and watch your uh, watch your badger um, confessal into a man like this. My gavel shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. G I realize he's still re recuperating, but Mr. Gustavia, do not yield to this diva uh, to this devilish prosecutor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Helps her over makes entry, but hmm. Wait, did I just pre do I no? No, mind. So you helped Mr. Dover with his desserts, but made yours all by yourself. No matter how you look at it, this seems odd. Why didn't Mr. Dover assist you? It matters not how it seems; it's the truth. I do not know why what Mr. Mo 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 Sir Dover was thinking. It's hard to prove that someone is lying about something that happened 18 years ago. Hey, Kay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? If I if it did, I've already stolen Mr. Adger's spotlight. Ah, there's no need for that. I will expose this man's lies myself. Dan Kasavia, please continue with your testimony. The flavor of my entry wasn't good enough. My own lack of training was to blame. Up until the finals, I heard that you received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? Ugh, nothing of the sort. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off. That's all. Then, was your intuition fine while making Mr. Dover's entry? How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? Ugh! Come on. Hmm, we're not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change the topic? Um... I 
I guess. I don't know. I don't know what about what though. Cause, yeah, cause she said we're not really going there, so I don't. I don't, don't want to pick. Don't change the topic. So something happened. I would say between the semifinals and the finals. So let's ask about the finals themselves. The semifinals. So you're sure there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Yes, that's right. Aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, the finals were weren't much different from the semifinals. Press on this real quick. So you were still able to make your desserts without Mr. Dover's assistance. I may have lacked design sense, but I was confident in my flavor. In the, in the flavor. Apart from the design, there were no major differences between my the fi my finals and semifinals entries. Huh? That's sure strange. That's not, that's not how Uncle Ray remembers it. I'm pretty sure both the look and taste of your uh, finals desserts uh, score poorly. Then, there's no way he would have won the contest. Even the flavor which he was so confident about failed to materialize during the finals. Something must have changed besides Mr. Dover's cooperation. But what? All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. I should, I should already have the keys that I need to unravel them. I must recall all the information that Mr. Shields and my father gathered. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. So this is a new piece that came about. Actually, can I... Can I press on this and maybe ask about Dover and see what's going to happen? You knew Mr. Dover before you entered a contest, right? Yes, I knew him well. Mr. Dover's son and mine own, my own attended the same elementary school. Okay. That it wasn't a coincidence that you both participated in the contest. I heard about the contest, so I made a suggestion to Sir Dover. He always wanted the money. He always wanted money for his sculpting business. If I recall, Mr. Dover was a greedy man who was always after some money. Oh, so the angel's recipe is really worth that much, huh? Okay, the recipe book was certainly valuable 18 years ago, but nowadays most of the most of the medicines it contains are available commercially. Aww. That's a shame. In the end, it seems that each of the contestants and the Angels must be, uh, had Angels must be as their goal. So, now what do I do? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So I gotta do something. It's gotta be in the evidence somewhere. I'm gonna have to take a look. However, I'm gonna go ahead and save that for the next episode, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.